1997, the United States enacted the deadbeat dad law, which meant if you didn't pay child support, you were going to jail. My dad died in 1997. <laughs> if my fiance was like, do you want to sleep for nine hours uninterrupted? I'd be like, ooh, you slut, get over here. Ooh, I'm gonna hold you? <laughs> you know how bad it hurts to have someone talk shit to you and then put on swim goggles? He's like, yeah, your dad's a f***ing loser, and that pool's wetter than your mom. All right. <laughs> I hate you, Joe. I hope you drown. Boylan, you were a lot of fun. I really appreciate this shit. Thank you guys very much. It was a lot of fun. Thanks a lot. We'll see you guys. Yeah. Watches? Are you a watch guy? Were no, you ever a watch guy? Never in my life. In your whole life? No. You got. You know what? You got good wrists. I have no, thin. I have thin wrists. I have little. Hold on. Little oh my god, you do. Yeah. Not as bad as mine though. Look, when you when I do mine, like look how much oh. room I have, and then yours is. Yeah, but I have small hands too. <laughs> little tiny hands. Yeah, but you got great for fucking pass, oh, it bro. Gets in there. Yeah, grab the. Uh, like children worked on machines it really is yeah. they're little I small my fingers under your shoulder pad. which by the way they're doing now did you know that child labor's back baby in a, not in america no i swear to god in like all these like major cereals all the cereals we love yeah like just having kids box them up and do the boxes and stuff they're just taking immigrant kids and yeah. like these people take immigrants in like being like we're gonna take yeah. care of them and then they're like you work it you yeah. work at the cereal factory in Buffalo next to Helium. <laughs> yeah, dude. Where the great? Well, I always say that whenever I work there, factory. I go where the great Count Chocula fire of '79 <laughs> happened. It took my dad. It took my dad in that cereal factory. Um, you know what? I've never asked you as a friend. Dirty socks, dude. That's what I do. Look at this. Look at these. Look at this. this one's yeah. wearing through. I should wear shoes. White, for this. nah, dude. White boys in socks. That's our lingerie. All right. Are we on? Oh, yeah, dude, we don't, we don't oh, have like okay. a proper start. Just making sure. Oh, you don't say anything crazy? No, I, you know. You're going to let it rip? I don't say things. You got to do your, anything you got to do your N-word warm-ups. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, let me do my wind sprints. <laughs> dude, I really do feel like. Why are we in socks? This is. Do you want to put on shoes? No. Don't touch me with your fucking sock feet. <laughs> Ew. Also, Ew. I haven't had, I haven't been home. All these, this is all dirty. Yeah, dude. This I've is lived in. I got one suit. Yeah, you're living. Old, you're sweaty living. Socks. You're on your Bob Seeger lived in this clothes. Is gross. And here I am. Yeah. Did you, but you had a nice hotel. You can give them laundry. Have you ever done hotel laundry? Yeah, $9,000. Dude, you get that bill and you're like, what the fuck? Did you make me a, a new shirt? I got a salad and a water at. At the hotel today, mm -hmm. seventy-seven dollars. That's insane. The bottle of water was fifteen dollars. That's insane. Yeah, I got. Uh, I was in Spokane, Washington, at the club, and I got. They put you at a nice hotel, and I got food from there, and it gave me food poisoning. Nice, like really bad. And then I did the I did the white bitchy thing where I tried to call downstairs and be like. Just so you know. I'm sick. <laughs> Dude, I'd like give, to talk to a manager. I'm not feeling yeah, well. But I really was giving him that like, <laughs> and just so you know, the last day has not been cool because of your salad. And they were like, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, like, who gives a fuck? Yeah. And when, you, when someone checks you on that, yeah. it really takes you back and you go like, I should shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah. I really should you shut the fuck up. to the front desk because you have an upset stomach. <laughs> Dude, I was shitting violently and puking. And then when it subsided, I called and I went like, you guys put me in a really bad place. Something's wrong. <laughs> the Caesar salad really <laughs> fucked me up. Um, you know what I've never asked you just as a friend? What phases have you had? Like, because you played football. That technically could be considered a phase. It's like your jock oh, yeah. phase. But in middle school, did you have like a skater phase? Or like, like no. I had a poser phase. I had... Uh it was always sports. Always there was sports? a while I thought I was really good at basketball. Oh man. Which is really funny. Did you bring a ball around everywhere? Uh, what was that what was that phase? It was like it was like when Did you get Slam magazine. Like Vince Carter's you know, like the honey his, dip? Yeah, that yeah, that was unbelievable. That range. I was like Vince Carter was the first guy oh that everyone my. was like, he's Michael Jordan too. Yeah. So he hyped so many people. So when you were, did I think you I was were, number 15? Yeah. I think it might've been his number too. Were you into the Raptors for no reason? Yeah. The Raptors were big for everybody. 
when I was a kid, Jurassic Park and the Raptors. Oh my God. I was dude. like, I love Raptors. I just said this recently, but it timed out when I was 10 years old, my dino phase. Jurassic Park came out the week of my birthday. And you know, when you have a, yeah. when you have a summer birthday, you're kind of fucked. You have a December birthday. So yeah. you got the in-class party. I got the flu every single year on my birthday. What? I don't know. I guess December's yeah, around flu, flu season. season. But you never got to have like a I great- got sick every year. <laughs> oh man. But that kind of does rule if you get sick and you don't have to go to school. Yeah. Because then you're like, I get birthday at home. But- when you're young, I get birthday at home. Birthday at school, <laughs> is, birthday at school rules. You're a celebrity. Yeah, that was your first taste of celebrity. Yeah, it was going in being like, like yeah. someone's nine. <laughs> it's, it's December 11th. <laughs> <laughs> it's Shane Day. It's Shane. Day. Did you have? Or is this when somebody else has the same day as you? Or they try to co-op yours yeah. and they go like, "Well, my birthday is on Saturday and yours is it's Friday, so we're just gonna have." Yeah, we're not playing that shit. We don't split this. It's what my is, birthday. What kind of socialist celebration yeah. is this? Did you ever bring in treats from your mom? I don't she had, think. That was always the biggest thing is if your birthday was during the school Maybe year. Maybe you brought in treats for he, everybody. He, he, we all got to eat. Everybody's up. I was <laughs> we all, we all, Everybody's eating. What good is first class if my bros can't sit? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> uh, if I'm not bringing football-themed cupcakes, you absolutely. I would consider yeah. you bringing sports-themed cupcakes for your birthday, and you're like, Hey, this one's pretty cool. I just did a bad job of communicating from school to home. Yeah. So I would always like forget. Most boys did. Never got permission sl slip signed. Did you ever Never, forge it? No, I was I was a good kid. You were? Yeah, I was a good boy. I I was a nice little boy. I forged only twice. I did some fucking rotten shit when I was in like You're middle a school. Scoundrel. <laughs> I was, you are rotten. Dude. I was a rotten little kid. <laughs> dude, my mom had this thing where she was like, if you don't get a 3.0 in high school, no license and you're grounded until you get your your gpa yeah, back you gotta up. forge that dude we went to my friend's house who had a scanner and we scanned the report card gave myself a three five <laughs> it was nice. just it was midterm report card so it didn't really count that's pretty smart though but i was like and my mom yeah. was like this she watches this yeah. this will be the first time she finds yeah. out about you're this. really doing something <laughs> This kid's going to be something. She goes, I told you that screaming at you incessantly yeah. would work. It works. <laughs> it just made you a little she goes, piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, she goes, I gave you the Joe Jackson treatment. I just yelled yeah. at you until you were great. Now you got a 3-5 in <laughs> high school. You're a fucking genius. You're not, you're not going <laughs> you got, to some state school. Um, but basketball phase, what was that when you were young? Like young, yeah, young? Yeah, I was a hockey phase for a while. Cr Dude. I wanted to be a so goal. let me ask I wanted you to something. be a goalie. Yeah, you'd be great goalie. I thought I was, but it, I was terrible. You know what? You're a great goalie in, in a Disney movie. Yeah. Yeah. Goldberg. You got, yeah, you got, <laughs> Goldberg, you got Goldberg energy. <laughs> you could go like, you would do this a lot. Guys! When they're all <laughs> skating yeah. away from you <laughs> on their rollerblades, you go, guys, come back. Um, yeah. Did any of these, here's just my question, because this is what I went through. Did any of those phases line up with video games? So, like, NHL 94 comes out, right? NHL was, yes. You would think in, in sixth grade, NHL 94 came out, and I was just telling everyone how big of a hockey fan I was. Yeah. Knew nothing about it. Only played the game. Yeah. I'm wondering if it times out in our lives where, like, video games. Video games, for sure. I still like Manchester United. Like, I watch soccer. Because of because FIFA. Because of FIFA, yeah. That's how you get video to Video games get, yeah. I wonder if people in the UK get into the NFL through Madden. Like they play Madden mm. and they're like, oh, I, I fuck with the Colts. Maybe, but soccer is so much easier to pick up and like understand right away. Yeah, because it's just like kick it's it, put easy. it in the goal. Yeah. Football, you're like explaining yeah, pass yeah, interference yeah. Like to a guy. A Welsh. You're not going to expect the draw. Yeah. <laughs> you know, draws are popular. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or third and 15, you can run a draw. Third and, and 15 is nice. That's a, that's an old Mike Shanahan move. Screen or a draw? Let's yeah. Go. Just bring everyone out, have them play back, and then yeah. make them play up. But I wonder if you, if like a Scottish guy is like, I got into the NFL through playing <laughs> Madden. I love the Broncos. <laughs> Just like some random team. Because that's got that's how FIFA is over here. Yeah. It's the best export for soccer is FIFA for, for us. For sure. Because it gets you in. Yeah. Do you still play every year? Yeah. You're probably nasty, right? I'm pretty fucking good. I've been playing for 20 years. Dude. I fucking I'm hate pretty good. Our friend Dez. I'll play him in Madden online. Yeah. And he plays Madden consistently. Yeah. Like nasty. I have it. And he does these passes. Yeah. He knows all the cheat plays. Thank you. Yeah. 
dude he beat me so bad last time i started getting pissy and i go like this i just don't have the time to i don't have the time <laughs> to commit to this game and like he's but it got was a me. family yeah he's got a full family yeah, yeah, full yeah. time real job yeah. like a, he's, a got, good, he's got less time than you <laughs> all we have is time oh yeah and i was being it was like busy i was giving him front desk energy from getting food poisoning yeah. where i go yeah i don't know it's just like you're cheating and if i've you're, seen you handle video games I, it's not well <laughs> i quit the first time That's we, how we met yeah we met in at helium in philly i uh, that was when i was bringing the ps4 around and i was like you're like i'm playing man i was like i'm i'll come fuck you up if you want but you got the first one. I got the first two. I made your ass quit. Dude. Third game, you made, made me quit. You, made and that's his because ass quit. Dude. That's because you put you. I was up like the Broncos playbook that year scores, was trash. Hit you, I with onside, drew, hit you with an onside kick at halftime. You crazy. Sean Payton me. Crazy. You Sean Payton me at that super. It made me so mad. <laughs> he was up twenty one, and I go, well, "Let's just play another game." Like we're running out of time. And you go for for the rest of our friendship. You kept going. You quit. You made your ass quit. Dude. Oh, you got to take the whooping. I did take, I got whooped. You got it. We never, did we ever play against each other in NCAA? Yeah. You we beat did? me. When we, when I was in that league during the pandemic. Oh, that was fun. Where we, I would, that was the most nervous I've ever been for a video <laughs> game. So I would, I would have to go. It was Online Shane. Dynasty. It was guys you used to coach. Yeah. Yeah. Little, yeah. Kids, <laughs> little, used kids, little kids used to coach. And yeah, we, I, got an, I got an underage and had to do community <laughs> service. So I coached. I love that. Yeah. You're, you're, you're like that Keanu Reeves movie where he teaches <laughs> black kids baseball. <laughs> That's you. But he, Shane was like, all right, these guys, they're like young. They were Dude, like, we were in an online dynasty back then. They were all in eighth grade. I was like <gasps> out of college. And I was running the score up on them. Wait, really? That's <laughs> yeah. how young they were? I, yeah. I thought they were at least like sophomores <laughs> no, in high school. They were in eighth grade. And I was killing them. Dude. To this is... day, they believe I was cheating. <laughs> well, what's funny is because there's no chat on Xbox Live or it wasn't convenient. Damn, I forgot you were in the online dynasty with Yeah, us. and you would, you would call. You would call and get on the And I, yeah. I don't know these guys. The first time I talked to him would be the t <laughs> yeah. when they would text me their number because in the group <laughs> chat, and I'd call these guys. I picked Arizona. Big mistake. Crazy move. Crazy move. The offense was really good. This is from damn. I forgot how serious you took it too. Yeah, it you was, feel like uh, this year is where it's a down year. We're rebuilding. I was like, <laughs> I would do that thing. I would do the, the excuses I always do when I lose. Well, yeah, you were a shitty team, but I was Arizona. But they had a good offense, so I would stay in the game. I could just never close it out. Yeah. I lost every game by seven to ten. I points. was cheering for you too. Ah man, I knew was, how much you wanted it. I wanted one. I wanted one win over a human. I won against the computer on every because we played on Heisman. Yeah. Again. It's the computer. What's better than a pandemic online dynasty? Dude, it was... That was the best. I'll tell you right now, I would take Myrtle for a walk yeah. and kind of dream up little scenarios, schemes, schemes. I would call up and be like, I right. lost in the championship that year. Who were you? I forget who You I weren't was. Notre Dame. No. Were you Oregon Might State? Tennessee? Nah, you were in Tennessee. Was it SEC and Pac-12? Yeah. Because I was Arizona. That's... I packed... It was the... Where I was, USC? No. You weren't USC. You UCLA. were UCLA. It was someone. I think it was someone in the SEC. Mm -hmm. maybe, maybe you might have been Tennessee. Auburn. That's what it, it was. was. Auburn. Dude, it's funny is it would you'd see the schedule because we did custom schedules. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you would play each other, and you would like I'd get two wins, and I'd be like, dude, this running back's kind of sick. And then one of your boys would be on it, and I'd be like, oh fuck. I'd be like. <laughs> <sighs> getting ready to call him dude it felt nervous it felt like a first date it was, it was <laughs> like, like, it's like, are you gonna be home at 6 p.m so we can get the online it was it, yeah like, i'm doing there. bonfire until eight <laughs> but then I'll, I'll and then like i would go smoke a bowl and take myrtle for a walk and be like let's go cats <laughs> let's go cats <laughs> giving myself speeches on a walk through new jersey where i'm like this is everything you fucking wanted we got to do that with the new one uh, yeah oh my god how like excited are you it's gonna be i can't wait do you and that's you said, when i'm done Yesterday you the said we're well, done when it comes out. <laughs> I'm done. I'm tired. They follow it on paper <laughs> and they go like, "Dude, SNL. This yeah. guy's at the top. Why? What's the drop?" Yeah, that's going to be my Chappelle going to Africa. Yeah, NCAA comes out. I'm going home. And then it's just you. Do, you doing long sets talking about NCAA. You go. <laughs> you know that goes into a lot and do recruiting, <laughs> but sometimes somebody will sign with a rival. <laughs> I wonder how they do it. Do you think they're doing it? You said that you read they're not doing it the same as Madden. And for those of you that don't care about NCAA college football, fuck off politely yeah. for 10 minutes. Yeah, this is a big deal for us. It's a huge deal. It's still real to me, damn it. It's still real to me. <laughs> I explained it to Mullen. Mullen had never seen that clip, really? and I was telling him, I was like, hey, take it easy, buddy. He goes, right, that's my favorite. He goes, all right, take it easy, buddy. <laughs> it's just what you guys have done with your bodies. It's still real to me, damn it. Dude, um, I've had an eye twitch 
for two weeks now. Oh, you think you've been under some stretch? Yes. It's not going away. Does it? Is it the top eyelid? No, it's on the side right here. It goes. Buh, 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 yeah. Buh, buh, buh. I used to get that on my eyelid, and it would tweak out. You'll be fine. By Austin, you'll be fine. After Radio City, you'll calm down. I was talking to Molly, the lady on SNL. Yeah. I, I told her about it the day before. I was like, this fucking eye twitch is not going away. And then right before we went live, she was like, how's the eye twitch? And I was like, fuck, I forgot about oh, it. And then it's like, <laughs> it's, it's, like, like <laughs> it's like, it's Saturday Night Live. And you're like, oh, oh, with your host, Twitchy Eye. You come out, you're like, hey, everyone, how's it going? Um, after basketball phase, so it went hockey, basketball, football is life. The rest is just details. Yeah, it was football is life. Was it weird getting out of the foot? Because your football phase, here's the yeah, thing. Yeah, that was, that was when I got into stand-up. As someone that sucked at football, pretty easy to get out of. Orange Peel story is still <laughs> top five, dude. <laughs> it makes me laugh every time. I'm, have you told it on here? I don't think I've ever told it ever on a podcast. I love it, dude. Gary Payne. It's, it's, my, just my best, a... it's one of my best friends' favorite moments, I think, from high school. Yeah. Uh, we were playing. It was my... Hold on. What was the game you guys lost? What was the score? And when, I was in mid, when I was in middle school... Dude, I've been on some terrible teams. Wasn't there one that was like... 116 to zero. (laughs) When I was in sixth grade, shout out Tom McDonough, shout out Kurt Dooley. 116 to nothing. Shout out Greg Mann, our wide receiver. We played the Warriors. That's like a life-changing loss. Dude, what's funny is... the most humbling thing I've ever heard. To watch your mom, (laughs) as a little boy raised by a mom, to watch your mom acknowledge that you're not good at sports in a moment, just to go like, ah, what do you want? You're funny. <laughs> it's only you go, 16 to nothing. Ugh. Dude, parents were, you know, you know the Simpsons thing, stop, stop, he's dead. Yeah. Parents on our sideline were doing that. Yeah. Where they're going like to the Call ref, the they dogs. go, all right, <laughs> all right. And the ref goes, we have to, for the game to count, yeah. we got to run through the whole thing. <laughs> Dude, it was like 70 to nothing at halftime and they were still throwing in the second half. Awesome. The awesome. worst ass whooping I've ever been a part awesome. of. And I've been in fights, but that was the worst ass whooping yeah. I've ever had in my life. That sucks. It made me. Did they hit hard too? Were you guys getting like dude, they laid were, out? <laughs> dude, here's the thing. They put me on the line. I had zero business being an O-lineman. I was just tall and gangly. And this kid would just, this little fatso would just drive his head into my soloplex and just, whole game. just push me back into people. So I would make noises like this when I get hit from, like a running back would run into me. I'd be like, ah! <laughs> like, it would like squeeze noise out of me because it was just getting absolutely <laughs> body tall lanky kid. dude tall lanky kid short fat kid just pushing me oh, i was on skates i was on skates yeah, the whole yeah. game he had you on skates whole the whole game and then i'm like i just love football so much and you probably had teammates like this you just had you just had a kid that loved football that he knew he wasn't good yeah but he just liked being a part of it that was me i abs- i was like yeah i just on kickoff team throw my body yeah i wasn't like that's fun. Yeah, you're just like, I'll just run into someone. Team guy. Yeah. You're a locker room guy. I'm a glue guy. You are, dude. <laughs> I'm a glue guy. Tell them about the locker room guy. <laughs> so with my junior year, uh, I was on, uh, I didn't play my senior year. My junior year, I was on varsity, and I was a backup linebacker, so I just <laughs> never played. And my best friend, one of my best friends, Danny Garrape, shout out Garrape, he was our star, he was our captain. He was like, let's go, guys. Yeah. Like, he was that guy, right? Yeah. He got injured like the third game. I think like blew his hamstring out. He's out. We're playing Cherry Creek. They're very good. They're like top five team in the state every year. Yeah. John Elway, Jack Elway went there. Like oh, nice. all the top kids went there. Valor, where Christian McCaffrey went, wasn't open yet. So all those kids that would have gone to Valor went to Creek. They were good. They were up 42 to nothing at half. Hmm. At half. <laughs> beating the shit out of us. Anyone that's played high school football knows they pass around a bag of oranges <laughs> so people can eat oranges to, I don't know, if it stops muscles getting pulled, who knows, gives you energy. But they give out oranges. Soccer games, all the way to high school football games. I never, I don't think we got really? high school You never football. got bags of oranges? No, but we were never down 42 nothing At half. <laughs> you guys are little kid soccer team. <laughs> Everybody getting orange. <laughs> we really should have had a name like a little kid soccer team. If your team's that You're bad, ladybugs. They should, yeah, <laughs> where it's like, I gotta, I'm bringing in a girl to play football for you guys. If your football team is that bad, there should be an ordinance in high school football where they can change your mascot for the season. Where they're like, a buffalo would never get killed this bad. <laughs> You're the unicorns. You're the ponies. So halftime of us versus Creek, we're down 42 to nothing. My coach is giving this speech where he's like, we got to fight. Yeah, yeah, we're down, but it's character now. 
do you have the character to go out there and play like it's zero to zero? And he's giving this speech. And then another one of those coaches goes, hey, where's the bag of oranges? And Garrett is like sitting in his street clothes, like listening to coach. And he looks over at me and I just looked at him and I smiled and I had an orange peel in my mouth because I was just sitting on the bag of oranges. I was munching oranges the whole halftime. A backup linebacker just, I ate a whole, I ate probably two whole oranges at halftime. But he looked over at me and he's like, where's the orange? I was like, like that. <laughs> and dude, he lost it. And Gary Pay laughed so hard. Funny, it is. Yeah, you fucking gross feet. No, um, was, it was nice. It was the hardest I got someone to laugh in a situation where they shouldn't it's have been so laughing. funny. Yeah, he was like, dude. And they're like, Gary Pay? You know, because he's like a captain. Yeah. He's in like, like a Letterman, Pay, jacket. Letterman jacket and yeah. jeans. Like, yeah. But he had his jersey in, yeah. tucked yeah. into his jeans. Yeah. Here we go, number 51. And then I just looked over. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> with my cowboy collar. I was like, Oh, dude. Down 42. Down 42 to nothing. Just getting fucking oh. crushed. We got crushed because you were on a good team. Uh, we, yeah, we were good. They went to the playoffs. No, we, my senior year, we blew it. Really? We went five and five. We were, my, I wasn't we, on the team, but my team apart. went five and five, which we made me apart. feel like I sucked even more. We were preseason top 10 in the state. Oh. Five and five. What happened? Who can you blame all these years later? Uh, can you blame somebody? Probably me and my friends. Your the O line? No, just. My whole senior class, like, we were all like me. You just going to get just fucked everyone, up. And, everyone didn't care. Did you live that varsity we, like, blues life? Around. No, it was just, we didn't take it serious. Really? Enough. Yeah. You show, I remember when we first started hanging out, you showed me a picture of you and your pads mm -hmm. in high school. I was like, damn, you were, like, good. Yeah, You had, like, a, a dark guy. visor. Yeah. You had the fucking neck roll under. The visor. the visor was nice. Yeah, I was dude. wearing Jordans my senior year. Oh. Yeah, I was more, I was in it for, I was a cat. We need more dogs. Oh, okay. You were there for the looks. Cat. I was like, oh, thin up. wristband, cool gloves, Jordans. But you're getting five, five. But you're getting recruited by D1 schools. Yeah, but then tore my MCL. <sighs> Not that that. Against I, two. Week two against Delone Catholic. Delone Catholic, those sons. They prayed the for Squires. That. We fucked them up, though. Yeah? Yeah, we fucked what them up. What was your guys? You guys were the, you guys had a helmet. We were like, the Trinity Shamrocks, and we had the Michigan. Yeah, that's what I was. Yeah. yeah. I know you guys were green with the Michigan. Oh, you're a little eye twitch. Do Glass Eye Shane? Bond villain Shane, we're like, the world is mine, and yet I can't stop my twitch. <laughs> <laughs> when, you, when you're getting recruited, are you like, I should try harder? No, I was just like, I got it. I don't need to work hard at all. You were like, they love yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. Were dudes, so as someone that was shitty at football, asking someone that was good at football, were there, were there dudes like slobbing your not calling you house and being like, Yeah, when you're, when you're getting recruited, yeah. They're like, hey, bud. Yeah. Because I got recruited, but I got recruited by the military. <laughs> I had the army and, mili and marines calling me being like, hey, you're pretty fucking dumb. Why don't you come <laughs> <Yeah>. fight? <laughs> yeah, which I would have been right in Afghanistan. That yeah. was right when I would have gone in. But You should have. Oh my God, I would have been, it would have made you me such orange a, peels during artillery. It's so like, we're getting <laughs> shelled. And I go, I just hold up the, I hold up the bullets. Guy's like, all right, that's uh, funny. It's funny. It is funny. <laughs> but when they're calling you, or is your dad like, Shane, Maine is on the phone. Yeah, Maine was one of them. Yeah. It's cool. It was the best in school. And they would, they always come to your high school. And in class, somebody calls over the speaker and is like, Shane to the office. And it's like. Dude, when I got an Not office call, deal. that was Boston like... Boston College is here. Not really? Well, they were there. They just... Schools, they just come by. They just meet with everybody. Yeah. Where they're like, this kid's big enough to play D1, I'll meet yeah, with Yeah, and then I did like a scout.com combine at West Virginia, and that was kind of the end of my D1 Re hopes. Really? I ran like a six-second 40. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, oh my God. Was there a moment where... And, and I just... If I've seen disappointment in the eyes of so many people yeah. throughout playing football. Was that your first time where you saw disappointment where you go like... Oh no! Like it was that feeling of like oh no! Because well, like anybody in high school, all our forty times were hand timed by our coach. So they made it look. So good. I went into it going like I run like a five one. <laughs> I'm fast. I'm the fastest <laughs> fucking lineman you're ever gonna see. It was yeah. It was. But then you had that moment where they were like, oh yeah, it was a it was a I think the guy timing it was a player for West Virginia, oh. like a D back, that, like and was just like, damn. Oh, no. did you walk over? And I like, heard him say it, and I was like, no way. He goes 6'1", and you're like... I was like, ooh, that's like impossibly slow. And at this camp, are you staying overnight there, or is it like a day No, that was a one day. So you just go and do it? Yeah. Because when it you... It sucked. Oh, it was my. in the summer. I would, you have to wear those like sleeveless Under Armour shirts. With the number on the... Yeah. yeah like the was, combine. Yeah, and it was 
I just was covered in blisters from sunburn. Oh, <laughs> oh dude, your freckled shoulders just do like a, a long jump. I think I did like three feet. Was there anything <laughs> you excelled excel at? Down. Was there any like bench press? I did good on the one on ones. They're oh, blocking. Just, yeah. Just get in your stance yeah, and go. That was, I felt good about that. You're like, yeah, so I can fucking yeah. play. Yeah, but I, I didn't bet. know I was blocking wrong. So I was like, just using leverage and putting the guy on the ground. That's sick. Pancakes, baby. It's, it's not a pancake. That's how you get. And then I did it in college and they were like, you're going to tear everybody's knees. You can't block like that. <laughs> like you get yelled at for that. They'll be like, don't. You'll yeah, rip yeah, it. Because yeah. you're just like jerking yeah, a guy around. throwing a guy on the ground next to the guy who's blocking next to me. Yeah. Yeah. It's like you'll end his career. Yeah. Because he'll, he'll get, he'll get tripped and roll yeah, up. Yeah, and yeah. The, yeah. That's nuts. Did you wear knee braces? Yeah. In college, you have to. You have to. Yeah. It's just standard. Yeah. I mean, I would, because I love Stone Cold Steve Austin. I got I got the cool knee brace when I tore my knee in high school. You got like the... But it was in 2006, so the knee braces weren't they did, great. They, yeah, it they didn't have like the game. It was like a giant piece of metal. You couldn't move your yeah. leg. It looked like you were bashing two beers yeah. together. Yeah, it was bad. You had to wear it over like wrestlers. Yeah. Did you, when you tore your MCL and they gave you that knee brace, did you rock it at school? No. Okay. That thing stunk, dude. It, oh, yeah. Like <laughs> hockey pads? <laughs> stunk. Just fucking smelled. Yeah. Dude, that is... Getting an injury like that when you lean into it, where you're like, oh, yeah, oh, my old fucking knee It'd injury. It fucking hurt, too. Really? Yeah. Did you hear it pop? Yeah, you can hear it pop. I got injured in practice. Yeah, what'd you hurt? I broke my shoulder <laughs> on an onside kick. I'm a weak man, dude. <laughs> That's not weak. No, they. My friend, my friend Chad still takes credit for it, but he... Kicked an onside kick and it did. He was he was a good kicker. Yeah, it bounced and I put my hands up to catch it and a guy got a helmet right there oh, and drove me to the fuck. ground and it just went like, every, my whole my whole body was moving except my left arm. I was like, ah, yeah, <laughs> and then they were just like. The worst feeling in the world is when they go, all right, guys, move it down 10 yards. And you go, yeah, I'm still it. hurting. <laughs> yeah. And they're just, you can just hear them still practicing. And you're like, ha, ah, ha. Ah. Dude, they picked my arm up and they were like, all right, we're going to, they put me in a golf cart. So you're like, don't, don't go. <laughs> they have horrible shocks. And my mom's boyfriend picked me up and took me to the hospital. And he was just like, yeah, he was a mailman. He was like, I had to call out today. And you're like, I'm sorry, Joe. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I broke my fucking arm. But then they got me there and they cut my pads off. Sick. Gave me morphine. Did you feel cool? In my football pants on morphine, I felt like the shit. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I was like, oh, yeah, they didn't know I sucked at football. They <laughs> yeah, just saw the yeah. grass stains. And like, this guy looks like he gets involved in plays. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> and then they gave me dude they gave me perks and i got hooked on perks at 14 nice <laughs> dude i so they were like I, it was freshman football so they didn't care if i showed up to practice or not it wasn't like yeah. varsity but i would go to this kid ryan ryan hoffman's house and we would do percocets and smoke cigarettes while i was up in my sling <laughs> and you could see the high school from his backyard and i'd be like practice is going on <laughs> i was just <laughs> fucking doted i was just fucked up like 14 like <laughs> Dude, it was crazy. I used to think it was funny when my mom's boyfriend was home alone to take my arm out of the sling and walk into the kitchen like everything was all right. But I was in so much pain. <laughs> I'd be like, hey, Joe. And he'd be like, where's your goddamn sling? And I'd be like, ah, I'm just fucking around. <laughs> it's a funny joke I do. Yeah. I was like, Dude, and then I had a pin. I had a pin through my shoulder. Oh, man, you really fucked your arm up. Oh, yeah, it broke my humeral head and it went up into my shoulder. And they, they had to do like reconstructive surgery. I had pins in my shoulder. Your high school career is so fun. <laughs> it's zero glory. It's zero glory. Leveled in <laughs> practice. <laughs> just, dude, I used to, when we used to do JV defense versus varsity offense my yeah. sophomore year, there was this guy, Jacob Haynes, who played tackle. He played at like D, I think it's like D2 or D3. He would lift me up and throw me down <laughs> like dads do to kids in the pool. Like he'd be like, "Wee!" And I'd just be like, oh, I'd just get driven into the ground. Uh, I would have to put my ear pad back on my helmet, you know, like yeah, you have to wait for the gun. Yeah, yeah. Dude, all the time. But when I broke my shoulder, dude, it was, I had pins in it. And then I was in uh, like the main hallway in our high school and someone just walked up from behind me and went, what's up, Soder? And slapped my back and it oh. went, and it fucking came through. And I was like, ah! Oh my God. I had to go to the doctor. I was like, ah! And it was, one of the, it was like a passing period. So the guy's like, hey, oh! And I was like, ah, ah! Oh, dude, it was, it was, it sucked so bad. But those perks were. Well, you battled through the injury and came back. Yeah. And then I <laughs> got leveled. And then I got leveled again. <laughs> the next year was when I was just. You're Rudy, dude. Dude, I, but not even. <laughs> but Rudy that just wanted to get fucked up. 
if Rudy didn't care about football and eventually was just kind of like, I don't know, you yeah. guys want to go drink at my house? But it's fine. I'm, here's the deal. I embrace that. Yeah. Because I think what happens is a lot of guys are decent in high school and then they hold on to that. Yeah. And then you can't ever let it go. Like, that's what I if mean I by- If I didn't have, if I didn't play in college, I would seriously think I was- The man. So good at You were going to combines. Yeah. People were pulling you out of class. Yeah. You were the fucking man. I found out. But then you go to college. And I found out. And you got humbled. Those guys were trying. Yeah. Very and like, hard. And were disciplined. Yeah. Would you go drink when, like, you yeah, played at drink. Elon, right? I got drunk before a game. Which game? Uh, I forget who we were playing. Did you know you were playing? No, I knew I wasn't going to play. How funny so is I was that? was just getting drunk. Dude. It was Notre Dame, Michigan. It was the year oh. Notre Dame got smoked by Michigan at home. <sighs> Brady Quinn's senior year. So it was Ty, like, Who was the coach? Ty? That was Charlie Weiss. Charlie Weiss. Okay. Yeah. But I, there was just a bunch of beer from the night before. And, and you was, were like, I just got drunk and watched college game day. Great. But then I had to do warm ups before the game. And were you like, <laughs> were you like more chatty than normal? Like, no, I was just like, holy fuck, I'm going to get in so much trouble. Really? <laughs> yeah. Because sometimes when you get drunk, you get like brazen behavior. I knew I was never going to play. And so, uh, like, I was certain if, if every O lineman got hurt, <clears throat> they put like a fullback in before they put me in. Really? I sucked. And you didn't get, so you didn't play that game when you were drunk? No. Because I, I never to, played one game. Dude, what's funny is in high school, I would like my junior year, I was like suiting for varsity. Yeah. But I was like, I, I, I probably won't play. So I'd get high and eat like, dude, I ate Carl's Jr. <laughs> I ate so much Carl's <laughs> Jr. And we were playing Mullen, who's better than Creek. And we were getting blown out. Yeah. Our coach read us the little engine that could before the game. Oh, no. And one of our coordinators that didn't like him just went, Jesus Christ. And just walked <laughs> out of the gym. We were away. We got crushed by Mullen, 49 to zero. But that was the full game. Dude, they pulled the linebacker. I was chilling with Chad on the sideline because yeah. he's a kicker. So I could always hang with my boy. <laughs> and we're just chilling. And they go, Soder. And I was like, what? No. And I couldn't find my helmet. <laughs> and then I looked at Chad and I went, I ate so much Carl's Jr. <laughs> and I just went in and was like uncomfortable. Dude, I was getting fucking tossed around. The guy that I was guard that I was lining up on as an outside linebacker played at Nebraska. Yeah. Like he played <laughs> yeah, get tackle killed. at Nebraska. Yeah. And the tight end for Mullen that year was this kid, Alex Smith. This kid, he's a man. Yeah. He played at Stanford and went on to play for the Buccaneers <laughs> and a couple other teams. Dude, they were grabbing me. Remember I told you like that kid in the pool? But I had a full tummy of burger and fries with ranch. So they're like tossing me and I'm getting up and going like, <laughs> <laughs> like acid reflux. I'm like, <laughs> dude, it was horrible. All, all football was to me was just a giant ass kicking. <laughs> That's all it was. And I laid out a couple of dudes. That's nice though. Dude, it feels great. It's the best feeling. I recommend everyone going yeah. through that. Just so the one time you stick someone in an egg app, you go like, that felt fucking yeah, great. Yeah, it's a good feeling. Yeah, but I only had those for so few and far between. Between me just, <laughs> just getting up being like, God, Mullen's part of the creek. These guys are good. These guys fucking, these guys. These guys and then watching him go on to the NFL, you're like, that guy kicked the shit out of me. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if amateur boxers do that. Like uh, whoever Definitely. got lit up by like Floyd Mayweather yeah. when they were like young, they're like, Hey, I that told guy. you that guy was good. <laughs> the hey, fuck? Everyone was making fun of me for getting knocked out. Go, hey, Stacy, come in here. <laughs> yeah. Remember that? That guy beat the hell out of me in front of you on like our third date. Remember that? Yeah, that's <laughs> when you tough. thought you were marrying a champion? That's got to be tough. Being Dude, a fighter. Can I bring in a lady? I'm throwing shit at you, you motherfucker, you winner. Here's what I always think about. UFC. Yeah, no those shoes. fucking dirty. No Shoes podcast no is shoes pod so fucking weird, dude. Dude, it is. White dudes in no I shoes. Feel, I'm going to take a nap. Dude, do it, dude. We'll sleep like this. Like, <laughs> we're poor and we got snowed in. If I had known, I wouldn't have worn these extremely dirty socks. Ugh, you're lucky I can't smell. Or else I'd be yeah, covered in dog hair oh now. Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> Myrtle fur all over that shit. Uh, I always am tripped out by UFC fighters. <laughs> they don't do it as much as box. This is how we sit now. This is not. This is, this is very gay. No, it's not. This is a cuddle puddle, dude. Yeah. <laughs> a, Ew, Dan. <laughs> we, Ew. Uh, but dude, boxers, <laughs> it always makes me laugh when boxers' wives wear like night gown, like gala yeah, dresses yeah, yeah. and their... like elbow length gloves <laughs> to watch their just husband get the shit. <laughs> <laughs> and they're getting yeah. splattered on them and then after the fight where they're like hey they're like all dressed up to go to like a fucking a thousand plate dinner I gotta stop sitting like this wow you're doing great no no it's making me uncomfortable is it yeah I just always think about this is the, the mistake of doing the podcast from seeing this your dad 
Like, imagine coming home and your dad sits like that. Like, I'm We're 36. So this is not how a man sits on a couch. Dude, this is a, this is my you know gaming. I mean? This is a gaming couch, dude. You can't sit like that. Imagine if you came home and your dad was... Hey. Like this. <laughs> Just watching baseball. Going like, like this, he goes, Astros are up. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be like, dude, my dad's gay. <laughs> even when I sit... This is how I sit when I play video games on this. I don't even sit... I sit like this. Yeah, you gotta I be sit, focused. I, I sit right to the TV. Dude, this is where... You know how many NCAA games are going to happen this is in where this I'm couch? Gonna, I'm gonna put a nail in your coffin. Dude. This is it. What did I told you, dude? I'm from I'm the darkness. Bury you. I was molded NCAA. by that. You think I'm afraid of an L? I'm gonna be so good at this game. Bring I'm gonna it. devote my life to it, dude. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I cannot wait. No name might have, never lose a game. I'm gonna have Dez come down and teach me the ways. Dez is not. Well, yeah, Dez cheats because of the passing thing. Yeah, he runs See? bullshit plays. There you go. Fuck I you, mean, Dez. if you're saying it. <laughs> This is, when this comes out, he's going to be like, you guys are just slandering my name yeah. after I've shut down my podcast. <laughs> he's just the guy in the world like being like, what are you guys fucking talking shit about? He fucking bodied me. The he, first was time we, to, he was talking shit on the Eagles all year. The well, f- when they started to fall apart. Yeah. And he was like, Ravens are the best team. I was like, we'll see. Niners got buckled by the yeah. Ravens and he was all up there. Yeah. Going, he would send me memes like, and you're yeah. like, dude, not right now. And then what happened? Dude. Well, they lost they to, the, to the Chiefs that we lost to. Same fucking team. Both teams choked. Did you feel uh, like you betrayed CMC when you went to the Chiefs after party? Oh, fuck are you bringing that up for? I'm bringing dude? that up because I'm a Niners fan, dude. Because uh, I'm a Niners fan no. for life. No. You betrayed. No. Kittle and Juszczyk. Oh, dude, we're, we we're going to do that soon. Sick. Oh, dude, you get your fucking... You can get I didn't your, know you did cards on this. Yeah, at the end. You open up a pack from 1989. I've listened to every episode you've done. Oh, there are bonus episodes on Saturday. Oh, oh, okay. Dude, Jeffrey Asmus opened a fucking Michael Jordan All-Star card. This guy DM'd me. He was like, you know, that card's worth $7,500. Damn. And you're like, because there's... Did you get it back? <laughs> yeah. I go, hey, Jeff. <laughs> by the way, I bought your Jeff? flights on a couple of those weekends. <laughs> Why don't yeah. you fucking... It's time to kick back. Um, guys, listen. They're telling me what to say for the therapy, and I'm just going to be honest with you. It's completely changed my life. I know how to process my emotions better. I kind of understand situations. For times that bad stuff happens, it's just great to be there. If you uh, if you need therapy or you feel like maybe your life is just getting you down, try BetterHelp.com. Um, it's obviously daunting to think about finding a new therapist, someone that you're comfortable with, someone that can help you. But I, but trust me, when you find the right one, it helps almost immediately. Um it's great for learning coping skills for just a bunch of stuff. If you're thinking of starting therapy, then give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited for your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched up with a licensed therapist and switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. That's huge. You can just switch if you don't like someone and find someone that you can so you can start getting to work. Learn to make time for what makes you happy with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash Soder to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash Soder. Hey guys, Dan Soder. I put a special out on YouTube called On the Road. I don't know if you haven't watched it yet, but if you haven't, go check it out. It was a fun little show in Portland Helium that we taped, and uh, it's got some fun jokes on there. Also, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'm going to be on the road, Cincinnati, Ohio. I'll be coming to Go Bananas, March 8th and 9th, and then Lexington, Kentucky, Lexington, Kentucky, not Louisville, like I said last time, Lexington, Kentucky. We're doing two shows on March 10th. Come check it out. The first one sold out, but the second show we added, it's got tickets. And then Nashville, I'm coming to Zanies at the end of March, March 28th through the 30th. I'm bringing Brendan Sagalo. We're going to have a hell of a time. Dansoder.com for tickets. Thank you guys for watching the podcast and my stand up. I love you. I love you so fucking much. NCAA, how are we going to do? Am I going to fly down to Austin for the for the first for the weekend? Dude, We're going to have to figure something out. In, we'll in, just get a house. We'll get like an Airbnb. A little beach trip. NCAA dude, beach trip. I would fucking yeah. kill to do that. Yeah. Do you have like a, a an erase board yes. with a real tournament? Oh, my God. Are we, we about to do that? Yes. <sighs> we get a dynasty. We can do a season in a week. Oh. <sighs> Yeah. Oh, dude! I got. Ju- go. I think I got July mostly Let's off, go. oh. and it should be a 
It'll be an eight team playoff by then. Which will be on the game. Yeah. Because that's for the 24 season. Let's go. Dude, who's the other six? I mean, we've talked a lot of noise about Dez. Dez is not coming. He's, <laughs> he's good. He's too good. <laughs> dude, Dez, you got to drop some games before yeah. you're invited. Oh, uh, dude, that'll be fun. We'll f- we should flush that out. Yeah. Dude, that'd be fun as hell. For sure. Oh, my God. I'm going to get so mad. Can we do a place with a pool so I can scream under the water <laughs> so no one can hear me? Go on shadow box like Ali. Yeah. <laughs> you see me down there going, oh, just bubbles. I'm just going to stick my head in. Yeah, dude, that'll fucking rule. Yes. Oh, my God. I just got so hyped for July. It's going to be really nice. Who else do we know that plays NCAA? Because we, we can't have people that don't know the game. No, they're fun to have, though. Little cupcakes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, those are round one. Yeah. You, you got to do the you seating get properly. There. He's never played it. Just run the oh. score up on him. Dude, and then what we can do is, well, here's the fun part. We can do a seating tournament to see who gets seated where. Yeah. And then. And they get to pick teams first. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like the this lower. fucking eye twitch is driving me nuts, dude. Have you looked up how to stop it? I don't think you can. I think you can. not I've heard you can like, homeless pimp's going to look it up. <laughs> we'll have a cure for you by the end. This man lives on the street. He knows about eye twitches. <laughs> He puts woman. He makes women charge for sex. Give him the money, no. and he lives on the street. Have you done that, homeless pimp? No, uh, <laughs> it's just a guy. I, get it, yeah. I, go, I didn't. I go say, I, did, I just figured that out. Oh yeah, homeless pimp. Yeah, that's what I, we're talking about. I go downstairs, and there's just these crusty ass women outside going, "Is he there?" <laughs> Bitch, he's producing my podcast. Get away from him. Um, yeah, dude, I'm surprised you didn't have a, a like a skater phase or a prep phase. I had like a one-week skater phase, and that was Tony Hawk, pro skater. Video games? Yeah. You never were a prep? Did you no. dress preppy? No. Jocks either go like jock or they can go... No. Low. You can do a jock with a prep, with a prep flavor. Yeah. I was more... Uh, I, was, I don't know. I, I was, was skate. I would like skater energy. Couldn't skate. Poser. Yeah, real big poser. nice though. But then... Old Navy opened. Old Navy. And I just became an Old That's Navy. That's not prep. I was just, no, but I was, that was like my sophomore year, so I just yeah, started dressing. Yeah, I was an Old Navy man myself. I just started dressing nice. Yeah. Dude, I joined the Navy, the Old Navy. <laughs> <laughs> I, got, I got in there. I started wearing khakis and shit and sweater vests. That's nice. Or like, started dressing like Doug. Yeah, dude, I dressed like Doug Funny. <laughs> exactly like Doug Funny. Yeah, dude, I started to dress like that, and I was like, oh, okay. Because I loved, obviously, as I still do, I wear like wrestling shirts. Yeah. But that was cool in high move, school because it was the Attitude Era. Yeah. So you could wear an Austin 316. It was cool. And people are For like, sure. Yeah. And then Columbine happened and they were like, don't wear rock and roll shirts. Like, yeah, rock and roll. All the kids that Columbine. wore like, my sophomore year was Columbine. So everyone was like, do you wear Marilyn Damn. Manson shirts? Damn. It, it was nuts. Columbine while you were in Colorado in high school? What's even crazier is my friend's, my friend Mike's sister played basketball you know that you come from a high school basketball yep. girls high school basketball family playoffs was happening we went to a game at columbine girls high school basketball because his sister was on the varsity team two weeks before the shooting we were walking around the high school wow just randomly walking around we like drove out there because it was like west of denver it's like kind of it's in littleton so we like drove out there uh walked around like looking at their trophies i was smoking weed in the parking lot and coming back in and being like is, is this game over? Can we fucking go? <laughs> and then two weeks later, they're like, a lot of people are dead. Yeah. Yeah, it was nuts. I was in fifth grade, I think. Damn, and I didn't know I was that much older than you. Oh, yeah, five years. Yeah. Um, I was... What did they do for fifth graders? Because they rolled a TV in for high schoolers, and they're like, no, no shit's going down. I, don't, I guess because it was the East Coast. I feel like I was out of school when, it, when you, I got the news of it. Well, it was East, yeah, because yeah, it happened in the afternoon. I was afternoon. on the East Coast. Yeah, we were mountain time. Yeah, I was going to baseball practice. Were you, what were you, in seventh grade when 9-11 happened? Fifth grade, because 99. Eighth. eighth. You were in eighth grade. How did how'd they tell eighth graders? I was, uh, they didn't tell us shit. They were, they were like, just going like, to go to the church and pray. That's it. No one really told us. And then, actually, I was just laughing about this. I, we, then we got recess all day. Which you're like, which was sick, and we were just running around like, holy fuck, what's dude! That's going like an Al Qaeda. That's like it a was, recruitment it trick. Was nice. And then they go, do you like sandals? <laughs> yeah. go, I love sandals. And they go, why don't you hit the jungle gym? Can you do this? <laughs> <laughs> and they go, I can. No, we just had a lesbian gym teacher that was breaking the news to us. She's like, those fucking terrorists got us. Now, some 
probably there's some men on there yeah. that were too big of pussies <laughs> to get up there. We, I was in college, so I woke up from my 8 a.m. class hungover. Yeah. And it was after, you know why I remember it? Monday Night Football that year was Broncos Giants. Ed McCaffrey broke his leg against the Giants. Damn. Because I had bet on the Broncos. On 9-10? On 9-10, 2001. Wow. My mom went to the game and bought me a shirt that was Monday Night Football Broncos Giants, and it had the whole schedule on the back that never happened. Wow. Where all the dates changed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was crazy. I, I still have that shirt because I was like that. My mom bought the shirt being like, world's completely normal. Yeah. And then I remember getting drunk as hell in my dorm room <laughs> watching Giants Broncos because the, the Broncos were my backup team. 49ers yeah. were awful. Or we, that was when we started to skid. And I just remember being like <laughs> blackout drunk and then waking up and checking my email. My mom's like, well, we're certainly going to war for this. And I was like, going to war for what? We need to go to war. So. Yeah. I was like, I was like, are me and you about to fight, bitch? <laughs> and then I turned on the TV and I was like, whoa. Yeah, we're going to war. We're going to war. And my first class was a political science class. And I went and the guy was Sick. like, I, I don't know, go home and watch the news. Yeah. He's like, you're seeing shit that. Yeah. But it's funny because when you're hung over in college, all you want is your class to be canceled, but not that way. Yeah. Where you're like, all right, yeah. I kind of am pumped. I'm going to stop by and get a breakfast burrito, but I'm not happy about I'm it. I'm sad. But I'm sad. That's kind of how I feel because <laughs> my grandma, you know, Shane came over yesterday to hang oh, out. Oh, perfect timing. Shane came over to hang out. Me, him, and, and Kath. I and saw the dog. it too. As soon as, I, as soon as you answered the phone and stood still, yeah, I looked over to Kathy and I was like, Yo, and she was like, "No, he's been getting these calls all week." Well, because my grandmother's yeah. been in a hospice. Yeah, and so it like, it's not the it's not the one. The and, uh, so Shane's just really hanging out, was like watching the, TV, and then my cousin Kim called me, and I was like, "And that's when Katie, yeah. Katie did the like, nah, yeah, fucking happens all the time." Because I saw you stood up and stood still for like a minute. Yeah, and I was like, and then I walked in here, took the call, and my cousin was like, "Our grandma died," but we've been waiting. She was ninety seven. Yeah, yeah. I love my grandma, obviously. 97 year old deaths 97's wild you're also dude you're like she was like very cognizant for world war ii dude she told me a story she I, was i took her to the i took 20. her to the, uh yeah 1944 she was born in 27 so she was like 20 she was like 17 18 yeah dude as crazy as i took her hot. i took her to the <laughs> she's she a hot, hot during world war ii she was a hot lady Really? I look back at my... Dude, my grandma... Listen, rest rest in peace. Love her to death. She had total former hot girl energy that didn't understand why no one was treating her the way that she got treated yeah. up until she was 40. So that turns into a bitter old lady where she's kind of like, do this for me. And you're like, why? You old bag of bones? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And she's like, meh. <laughs> but I, told, I took her to the second to last 49ers game at Candlestick before they were closing out Candlestick Park. So I took her to the Rams game at Candlestick and we're driving back to Lake County and we're going over the Bay Bridge. They just opened the new Bay Bridge and my grandma just out of nowhere goes, you know, me and your grandfather sat on that hill, like pointing towards Oakland. She goes, and we watched him turn the lights of the Golden Gate Bridge and the Bay, Air, and the Bay Bridge on when the Japanese surrendered. And I didn't realize they had to keep all the lights off the bridge because yeah, yeah, yeah. they were genuinely yeah. worried about bombing from the Japanese. <laughs> and you're like, you just lived through that? Yeah, it's wild. Yeah. One time my grandma went to the pharmacy and the pharmacist goes, yeah, you, were, you know that uh, you were born in the same year that Wyatt Earp died. And my grandma went, well, I, well that made me feel old. <laughs> she was like 90. <laughs> and she's like, Jesus Christ, Wyatt guy. Earp. <laughs> guy goes, yeah, hey, you're old as fuck, lady. But she was fine. And like anyone will tell you with an old person, that injury, like an old quarterback, oh, yeah. she broke her hip, and then that was That's it. How my grandma went. Yeah, yeah. I, I would like to see the stats on completion percentage, broken hip to broken death. Hips. Yeah, that's it. It's it. Yeah, because she. What's funny? She. It's not funny. I was about to say <laughs> my she's grandma funny. was falling a lot towards the end. She was, which was like Pratt pretty, Falls, or uh, <laughs> like you would just find her. She'd be laying on the ground, dude. <laughs> and by the way, they act like it's no big thing. Uh, there's one. My favorite one. Uh, my dad went across the street to ask the neighbor's kid if he could help carry this couch in. Yeah. So they're carrying a couch in, and the kid, the neighbor's kid was going in first, and my grandma was just laying on the ground right next to the door, like, hey. And he had to carry it in backwards, like, what the fuck? She's like, hey, hey, and hey. Bill came in on the other side, like, Jesus Christ. 
<laughs> well, that's because you got to have that energy where you're like, get up, mom. God damn it. Get mom. Come here. <laughs> I, um, my grandmother would do this thing where she hated when I didn't like the fact that she lived alone because she lived so far yeah. away. And I, and I was one of her only family members left. So I'd be like, hey, are you okay? And then I called her just one day. It was a couple of years ago. I called her and she went, yeah, I fell in the garage. I was in there for about 35 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, dude, you can't, you can't do that. My grandma was trying to get turn the spigot on out back yeah and fell behind a bush i mean like in mulch and just had to lay underneath this bush <laughs> until the neighbor's kids came home from school she goes, hey. and they were in the backyard she was laying underneath a bush like hey <laughs> help <laughs> help must have been so scary just a kid playing catch and was seeing an old woman yeah. laying on the ground like hey. help me it's you like, a, like it's, it's a like, witch yeah dude it's a sad easter egg hunt <laughs> you go look what i found and she's like hey can hey. you help me out <laughs> hey what are you doing <laughs> hey kids what are you doing out there yeah dude it was like her broken hip and then it just went down she was in hospice and I'm like joking around about it on stage, but I yeah. can't joke around about this because it's just actually a legitimate gripe. I feel like hospice was trying to upsell me on stuff. They like, do, yeah. Yeah, they were going like, mm, like do you, you want, want us to play? To not punch her? <laughs> you go, are you punching her? Yeah, we punch her at night. You go, do you want me to not eat her food? Are you not giving her food? He goes, I don't know. But they were, first off, they do two things. They're morphine peddlers and they, Listen, in all seriousness, they do a lot of great work. But they have come up on morphine, dude. Who gives a fuck? That's what I said. It's hospice. The guy called me yesterday and he goes, Hey, it's real bad. I'm thinking about it. I go, Yeah. <laughs> Before he finished yeah. it, I went, Fire her up, dude. Blast her off. Yeah. She's just listening to Hendrix in her head. <laughs> <laughs> you know, she's like, dun, 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 dun. She's like, I remember the 60s. I remember when I was I, 40. Yeah. During Woodstock. She I was goes, I actually, old. I actually was against civil rights. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, I remember when blacks took over Oakland. <laughs> but she, he called me and they kept doing this thing where they were like, do you want us to hang out with her? I was like, She's out on morphine, but it felt like an upsell. Yeah. It felt like they were like, yeah, yeah, for extra, we'll talk after. <laughs> do you want us to turn her into a puppet and do a video <laughs> for you? Or they just bring her up and she's like, hey, Dan, <laughs> I love you. Bye. <laughs> I'm off to see your dad. <laughs> and you go, oh, fuck. This is fucking, this is dad. Dude, your joke from Beautiful Dogs sticks in my head all the time where we were doing it this weekend we kept going dark and twisted in the australian <laughs> accent i'm sorry dark and twisted that was in brisbane i hate that fucking guy it's so funny took my hat called you a fatso and then no, he actually, hey, fatso? in real life he didn't call me fatso he oh, said uh fatso's just such a funny fatso's word. funnier yeah he, in real life he took the hat off my head put it back down and goes uh i haven't worn a hat like that since i was five years old and kept walking he just did. And then he sat at an outside. We were we were eating fucking kebabs. Yeah. So I'm standing eating a meat. Are you with McCusker? Yeah. Okay. So, so you're with someone who knows you very well. I'm with McCusker, who when that guy did it was just like. <laughs> he thought it was the funniest shit in the world. Because the guy I'm, lifted it up and it put it down? It was fucking crazy. By, just by walking by you. Yeah. <laughs> It was so crazy that Australians I like. Australians are ready to scrap, I didn't too. know. I would have murdered this really? guy. He was so small. But, then, then, but there's something about that that tells me he's he nuts. He threw me off, dude. Yeah. And then he sat for a while. I was at an outside bar, and I was sitting outside eating this meal, and I was like, I'm, I'm just staring at him. I'm like, I'm going to fucking kill this guy. And then he walked by to leave, and I was like, real cool, dude. And he goes, <laughs> and kept walking. And McCusker was like, yo, that guy destroyed you. That guy. Yeah. Do you think there's any chance that that guy, was he young enough that he'll put on Netflix to watch stand up and maybe see chance. it? And he'll go like, that guy, like, I he's doing a bucket hat. Guy. He has to like, do yeah. the bucket hat thing over your head. He goes, I fucking got that guy. Yeah, he got me bad. I yeah. mean, I was talking about it for a year. Dude, uh, to, to thousands yeah. of people, just yeah. every night going like, this fuck, can you believe uh, this yeah, guy? guy he owned me. Yeah. I had nothing. And he went back to his, his thing and he's like, I oh, fucking, yeah. fuck Americans. Fucking yank came down here. <laughs> <laughs> Did he know you were American? I was pretty clearly American. Yeah. Yeah. What kind of bucket hat? UNC. Nice. Yeah. You yeah, rapping? I mean, it was, he got me. What would have happened though if you just whooped his ass? It I don't know. If they would have been like. I think in Australia they'd be like, yeah, fair play. Right. <laughs> Nicely done there. 
he does the thing where he's putting the lip <laughs> over his body lip. He goes, I deserve that. <laughs> you were in every right to take it out on me. No, Australia is awesome. Yeah. I love I've it. I've never been there. It's it's a long flight. I've heard the travels. It makes it not worth it, that part. That's why. When you're there, everyone's cool as fuck. Yeah, I've heard it's beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Everything's nice. Yeah. But I'm just so like, meh. It, the it's flight far. sucks, yeah. I want to go to Japan. If I'm going to travel that far. Australia's got to be better. I've never been to Japan. People love Japan. Japan's weird. Yeah. Got all that weird shit. I do like, yeah, underpants, vending machines. That's what I was just going to say. Yeah, I need that. So let me just buy some undies out of a machine. The, you know, what all the fuss is. <laughs> yeah, I want to take a nap in a tube. <laughs> just have a fucking... <laughs> do they have weed there? Like, is weed common? Because I think if I could bring uh, weed with me, that trip would be an all-time. I feel like drugs are wild over there. That's what I mean. They're like, yeah. you have an uh, octopus eye. And you like, <laughs> yeah, eat something yeah, and you're yeah. going... <laughs> And I'm like sitting there having tea with my grandma. And she's like, why didn't you ever pick me up off the ground? <laughs> and then I have to come back sweaty. Like, oh. and they're like, don't worry, Daniel, son. You'd be <laughs> they can call me Daniel, son. You'd be a giant over there, too. Oh, my God, dude. Andre yeah, the Giant You could voice. be finally Andre. The whole time I'd be like, I'm in her. I want to try your sushi. The thought of getting pushed onto a subway train. When they shuffle. Oh. And they, the doors close behind be them. Head and shoulders above everyone. Just, just I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry so- I'm taking up all the space. In but here, let me guys. tell you something, man. Queensboro Plaza, they do that on the set. No. When, in the morning, when I used to wait tables at Queensboro Plaza, where the end meets the seven yeah. train, they would come off the seven train and fucking fourth and goal into that subway and i would be standing there with my <laughs> tush push dude tush push total yeah. they would do the fucking they would do the brotherly shove <laughs> right onto that train and it would get me in a way where i would have coffee so i'd be I'd, oh. so again i would hit him with that front desk energy where i yeah. go excuse me excuse <laughs> me it's hot coffee's all going down my arm because some little japanese ladies just fucking <laughs> shoving into me it was wild yeah. it was wild i would get so fired up to go wait tables yeah because you're doing furious oh my god i'd be furious every day rush hour driving commute. to work i'd be furious every day i just, i couldn't i took the train and then you'd set up and then you'd just get bros at uh finance places <laughs> that just wanted to get drunk and they were younger than me mm. that was the worst mm. it was when the when the guys started coming in that were like 22 23 fresh out of you pen and they're like what's up bro dude i got some class all your little men oh my guys dude I got a whole I got a whole shelf of Macho Man guys that people give me. Nice fucking rules, dude. Oh, is it time for the cards? Let's open the cards. You ready to open some basketball cards? Yeah, we have people open. Do I get to open them. So you got to go two piles, crusty and cool. Okay. Most of the time, I keep the crusty cards. But if you want to keep some crusty guys, I also get it. All right. Let's see who you got. Open it with an all star. Mark Eaton. Oh, Eat, big white. Eating them up. Eating them up. Let me see. Yeah, you want to Dude, you get a Carl Malone jazz. Damn. And that's, I believe. Well, at this rate, Eaton might. Eaton is good. Eaton's good. Malone is. Malone's incredible. That's huge. Winston Garland. Let's see Winston Garland from the Warriors. He's going to the Krusties. Oh, yeah, dude. Walter Look at Davis. That. Krusty. Uh, first off, he's a Denver Nugget, so he goes up here. Todd with Murphy. With Fat Love. With Fat Lover and, and Alex English. Building another. Who you got right here? Todd Murphy. Todd Murphy, by the way. 88, 87, or 87, 88, he played one game. Also, though. Two rebounds, two assists. Peep that. <laughs> Five points. Let's go. It's, a, uh, it's an expansion team. Wolves, oh, wow. The Wolves. 89. Damn. You know who I, I was yeah. hoping? I was hoping Shane was going to get Sean Kemp. That would be the ultimate. But Olden Pauly Nice? <laughs> How do you even say that name? Olden Pauly Nice. He's a seven footer, first round pick Damn, out of Virginia. Seven feet tall. Yeah, dude. Also had, I mean, just Block City, averaging twenty five blocks a, <laughs> a season. Shit. This guy, and they got. By the way, oh my God, he was traded to the Sonics. This is interesting. Check this out. Traded to the Sonics from Chicago in exchange for the draft rights to Scottie Pippen. Wow. So because of this guy, Scottie Pippen became a bull. Crusty pile of my ass. Gerald Henderson? Yeah, dude. Nice. Check Gerald out, dude. Gerald's the kind of guy that he goes, oh, I used to ball <laughs> when you talk to him. Well, he I goes, play ball, young man. Oh, he goes, I, I just spent 10 seasons. I played with the Celtics, a couple for the Sonics. 
Sylvester Gray. Sylvester Gray. Ooh, we got a good one coming. You do? Sly Gray, is, that's good for the crusty pile. Damn Marley. Come on. Let's go. Thunder Marley. Let's go. That's in the fucking awesome pile. Him For the Suns? Yeah. yeah dude. Rookie season. Is 88, 89? Yeah. Damn, you got a rookie Marley card? It's nice. Does it, oh, dude, that's huge. A famous, infamous GM. Charles Davis. Charles Davis for the Bulls, role player. Yeah, I don't. By the way, this is the Bulls before the dynasty. Larry Smith. Larry Smith, good name, but here's <laughs> here's what I love to see. Second round pick out of Alcorn State. Six foot eight. Guy a does. A lot dude, of years, though. Dude, this guy's He's first in year league. in the league. This guy's first year's in the league. 63 blocks. That's insane. You see this guy. Yeah. For the Golden State Warriors. How great is that? Yeah, he, he was a good guy. Averaged... Eight and a half throughout his illustrious ten year career. Ten year career. I'll tell you what. The guy had a run. The guy could probably the guy could go coach anywhere he wanted to on that on that resume. Bill Wennington. Dude, Wennington. Now here's the thing about Bill Wennington. From Montreal. From Montreal. Traded to Chicago. He's another part of the Bulls dynasty. They started winning in ninety one when they got Wennington. Wennington was on those teams? Wennington was on the 91, 92, 93 Damn. Bulls team, I think. I didn't know you knew so much about this. This is this is right Lester here. Lester Connor. I was this was my phase. This was the beginning of my NBA phase. These, these guys are trash. Oh, dude. You know what's funny is Lester Connor. So when we started doing these, we Not made you know I mean. we made fun no offense, of Lester. That's what I mean though. We make fun <laughs> yeah, of them yeah. and then you'll see people tag <laughs> yeah, like yeah, their yeah. kids <laughs> and they go like these guys are shitting on your dad <laughs> and you go like Lester Connor, I didn't know. Yeah. I, didn't, I was a child when you played in the NBA. Dennis Johnson. Dude, a lustrous DJ. career. Dennis Johnson's a Celtic legend. 81-82, he averaged 19.5 points a game. He was a big part of, a, of their championship yeah, this teams. This guy was nasty. Yeah. Nice. My mom's boyfriend, Joe Big Dennis Johnson fan had a signed autograph of him on really? our on you our like, signed Dennis Johnson on the desk in our office was a signed picture of Joe and DJ Mike Woodson. Don't know, probably did a lot. You he averaged tell, eighteen one year, seventeen, seventeen, eighteen. He had a good. He's yeah. the kind of guy where you go like beast. Damn, that's all you got. You didn't get that great of a pack, dude. I got Malone though, you did get Malone. That young Malone, young. Damn, he averaged twenty nine in eighty eight, eighty nine. I mean, dude, Carl Malone is. You know, number his on the court work. number three all time leading scorer now behind LeBron and Kareem. Wow, I didn't know Malone was Malone. third. I mean, the craziest is everyone wants to bring up his off court shenanigans, his antics, his antics of having a child with a thirteen year old, and then that child goes on to be an NFL player, which is nuts. His son is an NFL player. Yeah, the, the, oh, the, I, I keep saying this. I hope it's fucking true. <laughs> I mean, probably, but I think the kid that Malone had with that child went on to be an NFL player and doesn't talk to him and does the whole, like, fuck him. Really? I don't fuck with him. Which... I would forgive him. You would? Yeah, I'm a pussy. I'd be like, damn, he's Carl Malone. I love him. <laughs> I, get to be so the, I get to be the male yeah, son. Like, can we please hang out? Yeah. Hey, Carl, can we hang out? He goes, Carl Malone doesn't know if you want to hang out. <laughs> I think he's a third-person guy. Yeah, I, just he? from the impressions. Dude, my favorite. Just from the Jimmy Kimmel impressions. Uh, yeah, Carl Malone doesn't understand. Yeah, Jimmy... You might want to scrub that off the internet. Um, dude, my favorite third person story. Do you know this Ricky Henderson story? No. Ricky Henderson was <laughs> Ricky Henderson infamously spoke in third person. He was in the locker room and someone was talking about Bible verses, specifically John 316. And Ricky Henderson walked by, he goes, Ricky doesn't care what John gonna hit. 316, Ricky gonna hit 320. <laughs> I love that, dude. Yeah. That might be, if it's not true, just lie to it me the rest matter. of my life. That's I awesome. want that story to be true so bad. Damn, we Matumbo got a good. Matumbo was a third person guy. Dikembe. He, he was? I feel like there's a story of him walking into like parties and being like, who wants to sex Matumbo? I've heard that story. Yeah. And also, when he used to swat motherfuckers for the nuggets, he'd go, not on the Mount Matumbo. Yeah. He would say his own name. awesome. Did you start doing that, dude? Be the first third-person comic. You go, Shane knows you like that joke. Shane just bombed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sh Shane understands you didn't get that reference. <laughs> Shane thinks the crowd should be doing a lot better than it is right now. <laughs> He's just absolutely. Please start doing Shane's that. Shane's tired. Shane doesn't want to be here. <laughs> Shane's Sh done with that. Shane had too many beers before the show. <laughs> Shane wants to sit down. Shane tried to loosen up before the show. Got a little too loose. Yeah. Now I can't talk good. Shane's going to say some slurs. <laughs> or slur. <Yeah. laughs> dude, I can we please follow through on this NCAA? Yes. House and tournament, dude. Yes, 
I'm. I'll bring like my PlayStation. Absolutely. We'll bring multiple PlayStation fives. Multiple, yeah. With multiple <sighs> games going. Multiple games simultaneously going in houses. Who can we invite? Oh, the the food. The oh, food's gonna be crazy. The food will be crazy. Yeah. The atmosphere. The drugs. I'm gonna do mushrooms. Like and none of this micro dose pussy shit. Yeah. Full dose, baby. Yeah. Fucking fire. You watch out on those mushrooms though. They're they're getting stronger. Everything's getting stronger. It's too much. Everything's getting stronger. I took one block of mushrooms the other day, a chocolate bar. It was like four blocks is a gram. I was like, I can have one square. That's yeah. nothing. That happened to me. I was high in 10 minutes. That's what happened to me in Amsterdam. I don't know what was in there. They gave me truffles and yeah. they go, here's 10 grams. And I go, dude, I can only do 3.5. And that's at my, that's yeah, at yeah, my yeah. best. And the guy went, no, 10 grams. You'll be fine. And I took it. I took two, thir two thirds of it. Shot me to space <laughs> faster than I've ever been in my life at a Pearl Jam show. Yeah, I don't know I if I, that's all. Yeah, 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 and I yeah. freaked out and had to go stand in the back of the arena, and Lou Lou Whitsky had to find me. And I was like, ah, ah. it was it was horrible. It was horrible. Um, I love you, dude. I love you. I really appreciate you coming by and doing this. I love you. I know you. <laughs> you've had a hell of a week. SNL was fucking ripped. Yeah, it was. It was really fun. You did awesome. I loved it. It was fucking cool as shit. Yeah. What a fucking great moment. Yeah, it was fun. It was awesome. And I'm It was we couldn't we could have got a word in if we fought for yeah. anything. We but you went with the experience. Yeah, we were just we were, you know, yeah. overwhelmed. We were kind of sitting there like we're stupid, we don't know anything. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but they fucking did it. You did it awesome, and now you got a Carl Malone card. Now I got a Carl Malone yeah. card. And now we can, but uh, you fucking rule, dude. I love you. Let's play some NCAA. I love you too. Let's get this <laughs> tournament. <laughs>